What's up everybody? Welcome to my third tutorial on XHTML. The last time we learned about colors and headings and how to make paragraphs. And today I'm going to teach you how to make a line break in your paragraph, how to align your paragraphs, and also how to make a simple list if we have enough time. Now as you can see, I've cleared out our body and added two simple paragraphs. One right here and one right here. So let's take a look at those and see how they look. And as you can see, every paragraph that we make has a blank line above and below it. Now sometimes this is the effect that you want, but other times you don't. You just want a line from to go from one to the next line and keep going on and you want a break in here somewhere and to achieve this effect is very simple so let's get rid of this right here and say you want it to break right here so you wanted it to look kinda just like that as you can see it right now with this line and then this line continuing on now if we ha if we surrounded these with paragraph tags then we wouldn't be able to achieve this because there would just be a space in between it so what we need to do is add a special tag called a break tag. What a break tag does is allow the line to continue on without having a space. Now it's kind of a special tag because it doesn't follow the same format that I've been teaching you before with an opening and an ending tag. It's just one single tag. And the reason for this is that you never put anything in between a break tag it's always standalone and it only has one function you don't need to put anything in between it ever and you never add an attribute to it so the tag for break is this less than sign br for break and any time you have a self-contained tag or a tag that stands alone the slash goes at the end and you close it off just like normal. So now we should have hello, a space, because this thing's still a paragraph. This is a paragraph line. And then no space, and then it'll continue on. It's easier just to see it, so let me show you how it looks. As you can see, this is our paragraph, and right here is where we added the break. Now as you can see the difference between this is in a paragraph that there is a space right here and in a break it doesn't space it just keeps going on. Now if you look at this right here you'd say alright all this text is aligned to the left hand side of the website but what if I wanted it aligned in the center or what if I wanted it aligned to the right hand side? Well this is easy as well. Let's close out of this and say we wanted to align this paragraph to the center. Now you can apl apply the align attribute either to the paragraph or the body. We'll apply it to the paragraph for now. So after P type space align and if we wanted to align it to the center we put equals and type center in quotation marks. Now this paragraph should be aligned to the center, so let's take a look. As you can see, this hello is still aligned to the left because it wasn't enclosed in the P tag. And the entire paragraph is aligned to the center of the page now. When you're aligning, you have three options. To the left hand side, to the center, and to the right hand side. By default, all browsers automatically align your text to the left hand side so if you want to align it to the left hand side you don't need to type anything but if you want to align it to the center or to the right then you have to use the align attribute which is align equals then type either center or right in your value spot surrounded by quotation marks and as I said this can either be applied to the p tag for paragraphs or the entire body if you want to align your entire body. 
and that's all the time we have for now but in the next tutorial I'm going to be teaching you about the three different types of lists it's an easier way to organize information besides paragraphs and if you're not already there you can go to www.thenewboston.com and check out all my tutorials and I'll give you a step-by-step -step guide so you can follow along easier thanks